This is Edward from HAXL. So this video we're going to master binomial expansion, okay? I believe that this is one of the like first few topics that you find it very, very confusing because it's quite complicated. You'll see like NCR, many bracket right here, and also you'll see like question will ask you to expand with like higher power, right? So after this video, I can guarantee you, you understand the concept of binomial expansion and why we need to learn that and also like how to tackle the IB questions most importantly yeah so what does it mean by binomial expansion so BI means like two things so you can only apply the techniques for binomial expansion for two terms expansion for example x plus 2 x minus 2 this is like two terms so what does it mean by more than two terms if I give you x squared plus 2x plus uh, like 5 and then power of 4 then this part you cannot use the binomial expansion yeah, so binomial expansion only applies for two terms. And secondly, you need to know, so this is the first part, and secondly, you need to know that why we need to learn, learn the binomial expansion because it's very hard for us to memorize all the expansion for specific power. For example, for power four, we need to memorize like, their, like, like the whole expansion for that, and then power five and power six and so on. But in the past, we, if I give you like x a plus b power 2, you know that it's just a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This is the way we memorize, right? So, but if I give you more power, it's very hard for our brain to process and also memorize. So what you need to do is to memorize the method. And the method is just right here, yeah? It's just, it's very simple. You don't need to be afraid of the a plus b power n right here in the bracket. Yeah, I'll explain uh, for you like step by step in this, in this video. And after that, you understand. So first, let us like look at the uh, uh, x plus two power four here. So let's let us apply the technique. So a plus b, a is the first term. A is just x, and then b is just the second term, and n, n is just four, right? So you can see that the bracket right here. So is n zero and a bracket a power n. Yeah. So um, basically, you just need to copy the whole thing. So this is the power. This is four, right? and we start with zero so i'll explain to you what does it mean by uh, like the bracket right here and how to get the value and for a you just copy x and then power four yeah so for the sake of consistency i'll write one more term for you because you don't see the b right here right so i'll write the two here and when i write nothing that means like power zero so this is actually n zero a n and then b power zero okay so this is two power zero. Do you get that? And then plus four, and we just look at the number here, it's just four, one. And the first term is just x. It's quite mechanical, okay? So uh, you know that like for n minus one, n minus one. So for here, just four minus one, which is three. And the second term is just two. And you, you can see here, it's just power one, right? If I don't write anything here, it means power one. Don't write zero. So power one here, yeah? And then plus, 4, 2, because uh, 0, 1, uh, I just faced a technical problem, okay? So let, let, let's just continue. So 4, 2, and then the first term is just x, 4 minus 2 is just 2, and then the second term is just, uh, like we copied a number here, is 2, right? Or you can just refer to um, the expansion right here. And the problem here comes like, when should we end? Yeah, because it's like 4, 2 right now, and then we don't have 4, 3. So let me tell you the logic. So basically, we just need to end up with 4, 4. Yeah, so 4, 0, 4, 1, and 4, 2, and 4, 3. So right now, we lost track of this equation. So uh, we have to work on our own. So let me tell you the thing that is very, very simple. So it's just 4 minus 3, that is just 1. And you just copy the second term again. And we look at the number here, which is 3. So we just copy 3 right here, and a plus 4, 4. And finally, 4 minus 4 is 0. And the last term here is just 2. And we have the number here, which is 4. So this is power 4, right? OK, so then uh, we can just simplify the whole thing here. But the problem is that we don't know the value of 4, 0, 4, 1, 4, 2, and 4, 3, and 4, 4. And we need to rely on the Pascal triangle, OK? So that is why we need to learn two things. The first thing is the way to expand that and the second thing is the Pascal triangle so Pascal triangle the way to memorize it always start with 1 1 1 2 1 okay why is it 1 2 1 because 1 plus 1 is 2 and then 1 1 here 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 and then finally it's just 4 6 and 4 yeah this is the fourth row so the this one you can go on and on yeah so the Pascal triangle is the way for you to get 
the coefficient of the expansion. So when I say coefficient, so that means like x squared plus 3x plus 1, the coefficient of x will be 3. The coefficient of x squared is just 1, yeah? So this is like a simple way for you to get the coefficient of the expansion. So what does it mean by 1, 1 here? That means a plus 1, a plus b power 1, and for 1, 2, 1 is a plus b power 2. So if I explain it this way, then you understand a plus b power 2, 1, 2, 1. When I expand, expand a plus two, b power 2 is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. What is the coefficient in front of that? 1, 2, and 1. Yeah? And how about a plus b? a plus b, so when you open the bracket, it's just a plus b, right? So it's 1 and 1, right? Do you get that? So 1 and 1, and then 1, 2, 1, yeah? So, and for power 4, then you refer to the fourth row. So it's uh, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So then the way I usually do is just write, uh, write out the number on top. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, yeah? So after we get this number, then we can, like, uh, we, we can calculate the whole thing out. So this is just 1 times 1 is x4 plus this is 4 times 2 is just 8x cubed plus this is 6 times 4, 24x squared plus this is 4 times 8, yeah, because 2 power 3 is 8, 8x and then plus 1 times 1 times this, 2 power 4 is just 16 and that you finish a 3 mark, 2 to 3 marks uh, binomial expansion questions. It's just very simple, right? So let us do one more exam question, then you understand, yeah? So exam question on Cal paper one. So expand three plus x power five and simplify your results. So for question B, I won't teach you because uh, today we'll just learn like how to expand that. If you want to learn more on like finding the terms, yeah, so you can uh, like do a free trial lesson and click the description link, yeah? So then we'll, I will be able to help you out with that. So for uh, 4A, so how do you do that? First of all, it's power 5. So I'll expand the Pascal triangle to the fifth row. Yeah? So 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, and then 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Do you get that? Yeah? Because we just add this two up. So you see the pattern, right? So after I get this, I get the coefficient. And the second part is we have to apply the equation, right? So by using the, uh, the bracket thing, or you can say the NCR thing, so we're starting from 5, so 5, 0. Always start from, z so start from 0, and then a is just the first term. 5 minus 0 is just 5, and then x power 0, yeah? Okay, because just copy the whole thing here. Plus 5, 1, and then uh, 3. 5 minus 1 is just 4, and then x power 1, and then plus 5, 2. So I believe you can follow this. 5 minus 2 is how many? 5 minus 2 is 3. And then, oh wait, sorry, this is uh, 3. 3, 3 power 3 and then x power 2 plus 5, 3 and then uh, this is like 3 power of 2 x power 3 and then plus 5 uh, oh sorry okay so 5, 4, um, 3 power of um, 3 power of 1 and then uh, x power of 4 and then finally we have to end with the same thing, right? So uh, this is um, this is five five, and then three power of zero. Five minus five is zero, and then x power of five. Okay. So then you just need to like solve the whole thing. So by applying one here, and then five, uh, one five ten ten five one for the uh, bracket thing here by using the Pascal triangle. So then you just need to solve this by using your calculator. So it's just 1 times uh, 3 power 5. 3 power 5 is how many? It's 2, 4, 3. 2, 4, 3, and then plus. This is 5 times 3 power 4. 5 times 3 power of 4. So you get 4 or 5. 4 or 5 x plus 10. Uh, 3 power 3 is 27. 270 x squared plus 10 times 9, which is 90 x cubed. And then 5 times 3, 15 x 4, plus uh, 1 times 1 times x 5, so x 5. Yeah, so that's it for the whole expansion. So you can see it's actually very, very easy. All you need to know is just apply the equation and apply the Pascal triangle. But of course, 
in biome expansion, we still have a lot of like harder question and more complicated like question types for you to get at level seven. So if you're interested to get all those, you can just sign up at the link below, okay, at the description. So I hope to see you next time in our center. If you're a Hong Kong students, you can come to our center. But if you're overseas students, um, you can just go online and we can also arrange like a Skype uh, trial lesson for you as well. Yeah, so um, yeah, anyway, so see you next time.